In this video, we look at how an IP address is split into a network identifier part and a host identifier part. And we also look at how networks can be divided into subnets. An IP or Internet Protocol address is a unique number used to identify a host computer or node that communicates over the Internet. There are currently two versions of IP in use. IP version 4 and IP version 6. IPv4 is four numbers between 0 and 255 and we separate them with periods. IPv4 provides us with approximately 4 billion possible addresses from 000 all the way through to the 255s. The actual number is slightly lower as some addresses are reserved for special uses. For example, all IP addresses starting 127 are private, non-routable addresses used for diagnostics within local area networks. IP addresses that end in 0 are reserved as network identifiers. If they end in 255, that's reserved as a broadcast address on a subnet. And if it ends in a 1, this is typically used as the default address of a router. An IPv4 address has two main parts. There's the network identifier and the host identifier, as shown here. Historically, a system of classes was used to define the network and host portions of an IPv4 address. This system divided the network and host parts into one of a small number of fixed configurations. These classes were part of the original internet design, which aimed to provide a range of address spaces for networks of various sizes. However, due to the growth of the internet and the need for more efficient address allocation, classful addressing has largely been replaced by classless addressing. With classless addressing, we can now split the address at any point we like, instead of at predefined configurations. We use what's known as subnet masking along with the IP address in order to achieve this. We use a subnet mask along with the IP address to identify the two separate parts of the address. So here, our subnet mask is 255, 255, 224 and 0, and we've shown that in binary as well there. This indicates 19 bits are being used for the network ID, and we represent this as follows. 107.56.94.111 forward slash 19. The subnet mask is ANDed with the IP address using the bytewise logical operator AND. When we send data, the subnet mask and destination IP is used to work out from the network ID if the destination computer is on the same subnetwork. It does this by performing the bytewise AND operation on the computer's IP address AND the subnet mask. If the results match, the computers are on the same network. If not, then the data is sent on to the router of the destination computer instead. Large organisations often want to further subdivide their networks into smaller subnetworks. This can improve stability and speed and avoid unnecessary network traffic and collisions. Again, a subnet ID is used. This must come from the most significant bits from the host ID part of the IP address. In this example, the first 8 bits of the host ID have been used for the subnet ID. This has now effectively created 256 new subnetworks for the administrator to use, with each network having a maximum of 254 hosts. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How is an IP address made up? How can IP addresses be used to divide networks into subnets using a subnet mask? 